My project officially began when I submitted my parts request to the Print It Forward or PIF website. This is great for those who don't have an existing printer or a method of printing ABS parts reliably. These are used to build the Voron, so print quality matters. If the main website queue is long, an alternative is Fabrico, which is a more recent collaboration with PIF, for quicker turnaround time. Whichever route you choose, note that primary parts only come in black. You choose your accent color and specify which hot end, controller board, and kit, if any, you plan to buy. They are shipping the more recent stealth burner parts along with the functional parts to get the printer working. The base price does not include aesthetic parts, such as the skirts and panel clips. The printer frame comprises of 2020 aluminum extrusions. On the recommended Misumi website, you type in the exact part number from the bomb, and it brings up the exact pieces you need with the customizations needed, such as length, drilled holes, etc. If you prefer the bare aluminum color, just remove the letter B from the part number. A lot of these buying tips are in the notes column of the sourcing guide. If you want a custom color, you need to buy a pre-packaged frame kit elsewhere. I lucked out due to a sale going on, which meant the total price of the extrusions were $72. This is more than half off the normal price and less than the $130 to $140 that most frame kits sell for. Otherwise, you are better off just buying a frame kit unless you have and know how to use precision cutting tools, taps, and dies. I decided to offset the cost savings by purchasing some higher quality Masumi T-nuts. From what I have learned, the gantry assembly uses up to 30 M5 T-nuts. Using good quality ones can make your life easier as they are less likely to rotate as you screw them down. Next, I ordered fasteners from Bolt Depot and McMaster Car following my customized sourcing guide from the last video. I decided to buy the M5 shims from McMaster instead of AliExpress even though it was slightly more expensive. It ships faster and I use these pieces when building the frame. Compromises. The last order was from AliExpress. The focus was on parts with long shipping times and anything that may be sold out in the future. I ordered the rod, adhesive tape, wire, bearings, belts, heat sets, knurled nuts, pulleys, and thermal fuses. I hit $500 and you can see how it's already getting expensive. A week later, I put in my second order for some things I forgot from the first week, such as the angled corner connectors. Continuing down the sourcing guide, I ordered the rails and belts, since that is the next step of the build. I went on AliExpress and ordered more bearings, the inductive probe, remaining pulleys, and the rubber feet. Most of these parts come with five instead of four pieces, which is good in case one is bad. Always buy extra when possible. After paying for PIF parts, the total cost now exceeded a thousand, so let this reassure any of you who doubted buying a kit. And I'm not even done yet. This process gets repetitive and you get the hang of it. I can't tell you what to buy and when, since everyone's budget is different. If you can buy everything all at once, that's great. Otherwise, keep ordering as the build progresses. Unfortunately, I can't show all of this as it will bore everyone to death. On a final note, some parts came before I even finished making this video. The fasteners from Bolt Depot arrived the day after ordering and McMaster soon right after. Surprisingly, the 625 bearings arrived in a week and the rails in two days, which is very fast for Chinese shipping. I wanted to mention this because there seems to be negativity regarding buying stuff internationally. It doesn't matter if you self-sourced or bought a kit. If you are taking on this kind of project, you have to be open to the idea of eventually having to buy stuff overseas. Use PayPal if it makes you feel better. At the time of this video, there are no Raspberry Pis available anywhere for retail price. Again, compromises. You win some, you lose some. Next video, I will start building the frame, so watch your wallet get lighter, wait for those parts to get in, and best of luck.